Hmm. Tools or? Tools. Hmm. It, it, it's like bag a bag of tools. It's, it's, like, a bag, <laughs> it's, like, a, it's like a bag of wieners is what I was thinking. That's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> No, we were talking about all the technology things that come out in guitar. And they're, they're, yes. and like this, this is the newest, greatest thing. you got to have it. Sometimes that actually works. Like the Stratocaster. <laughs> like the Les Paul. The cra that's crazy Bigsby thing. Like the Telecaster. Brand, like new, the, brand new technology. Like um, the Bigsby. It's still there. It's still here. It's the, or the, the tremolo system in a Strat. There's way better things that we'll get into in a minute. Tubes. Tubes, I mean, for goodness sake, for God's sake. vacuum tubes. <laughs> Valves, if you're one of my British friends. Oh, yeah, they're, they're so funny. And they yeah. call, the, my favorites when they whammy, they call it the wiggle stick. The wiggle stick. <laughs> I was yeah. like, well, that's so cute and it sounds is, like you, you have a restraining order. That's one of my favorite things about watching the that pedal show is because the they, just, they just say all those things. Yeah. Well, I just always wiggle think stick. of like, you know, Jack at Peach Guitars and his wiggle stick. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just having to go with the old wiggle stick. I'm what sorry, did you do last night? Well, I really beat the old wiggle stick. Uh, <laughs> you I just went at it. <laughs> your trim, your trim arm, <laughs> your whammy. Did you tighten the screws <laughs> down? <laughs> no, no, had it oh. nice and loose. <laughs> just flopping anyway, about out there. Yeah, technology in the guitar world. <laughs> Some things are grand slams and they last for 80 years. Some things are just duds and last maybe a few years. Some last for a few months. Some don't even make it out of the gates. Nope. Um, well, let's get into stuff that's sort of like hot on the topics now. Let's, uh, no, yeah, let's hot on the topics. We can go back to some of the past stuff. But like, there's just a huge launch from the Acoustasonic. Yes. From Fender. So that was a new technology piece about four years ago. Yes. And it's, I cannot it's, believe it's been four years. This is like It's out. an amazing piece of technology. Yes. It was American built in 1999. Some of the, the exotic wood ones were much more expensive up into like the threes. <laughs> I thought you were saying, not the year 1999. It was... Nineteen hundred and ninety-nine dollars. God, nineteen ninety-nine is so long ago too. Yes, it is. Jesus, now, I feel like we're an in interstellar. Matthew yeah. County's like, no, listen, baby, <laughs> hear me. <laughs> I'm right. falling in space. Sorry. Didn't mean to anyway. derail. No, so, um, so it it's it, it's an expensive guitar, USA yes. built. Now yes. they just released the Players series of it, built in the Mexican factories at eleven ninety-nine. Yep. And there's um there's price cuts on some of the USA built ones right now. Um. Which is fine. That's just sort of natural for this type of thing, sort of, um, or or is kind it? Because I don't. Because I, I don't know. Because the um, the American Pros are out, and those are what around fifteen hundred dollars, and those prices are going up January third. Yes. And I think, and then there's um. So get them now. Get them now. If you don't, if you're on the fence, buy it now. Uh, and then there's the Player Series, which the prices went up. Yep. Again, so there's a seven ninety nine. They didn't go down with the American when the Player Series. No. Up. It just came out. It just or the Player Plus came out nine ninety nine. Nothing came down. So, is that going to stick around? Like you just mean the Acoustasonic? Yeah, the Acoustasonic. I sort of think it will, but I do think it'll be mostly the one made in Mexico. As like, um, and, and mostly as a niche, maybe. Yeah, sure. Like the Taylor T five is right. very similar. Yeah. Designed by the same gentleman who is fantastic, by the way, and a genius, and really tall. The Taylor T5 is weird because I feel like it has its sort of little, I mean, a tiny little little place. It does, I mean, um, the, the Acoustic Sonic sounds amazing for an acoustic guitar it, when you play it, it through an acoustic yes. amp. You've always toyed with the idea of, I'm mean, maybe going to get one of those. Right. Maybe I'll get one of those. You never do. No, because then I decide I want another electric. real electric guitar. So. Yeah, you want another thing. You just want like another like Or like maybe some nice amp. Yeah, you spend a lot of money on toys. I, I would never do that. You would never, ever do that. Just wait. You got to stay tuned for the pe pedal rig video I'm going to do on my own rig. It's amazing. I, it's going to be no joke. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's no, no joke. It's awesome. It's coming out awesome. soon. Um, Anyways. No, so yeah. So those are two technological basing. The danger with like pieces like that is, is we're not like patient anymore. We're definitely not patient. But let, well, let's talk about a technology thing. In, in the American one that is not in the made Mexico one. Plug in the instead of a battery, a nine volt battery, right. like acoustic guitars have had since the 1800s. <laughs> yes. <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> With like the the wheel pulley. It's the early stuff. days of Martin. Um, no, that's not true. Um, so instead of a nine volt battery, you plugged your little USB micro into the input jack, and that charged it. Which is an awesome technological leap, right? Eh, 
Kind of. I, we thought it was. I know. We were like, man, they, all those companies should do that. And I now, know. maybe not. What if you lose the cable? What if that battery stops holding a charge? What if, you know, you get to the gig and realize your guitar's dead and you can't just throw a new 9-volt battery in there? So that was a right. thing. That was a thing that we didn't realize until years in. Short-lived technological Well, it's the same update. with the, the tuners, the clip-on tuners that have, like, the USB charge to it. I'm like, man, sometimes I just want to replace the battery. I, I, I like, also thought that was going to be great. And then realized that no. I lost the cable. I don't. Oh, it's the same cable you use for this. Well, I use an iPhone, so I don't <laughs> have those cables. Did you ever go to the Five Below? What? There's this shop called the Five Below. No. Everything in there is under five dollars, except it's not. It's kind of a lie because there's like premium things that are ten dollars. Oh wow! But the tuners? No. Oh. But they do. There. What they do have are Bluetooth headphones. Right? So, like, the little earbuds that are Bluetooth. Yeah. Like, like a cheap AirPods, essentially. Or, like, you know, they look like knockoff of Beats. Yeah, was, but they're literally, like, $8, right? No, I'm getting for Christmas. Well, so I have, like, 27 pairs of them. And the reason is I would rather, because, and there's not one here. So, every time we go by, like, Florence or somewhere, we stop at the Five Below. Okay. So, <laughs> I literally will spend another $8 to buy the new pair rather than keep up with that tiny little cable. That charges them because they charge the same way and they don't give you like the little nugget thing. So you have to use your phone nugget. It's a pain. I have some shoes that have that same system that they light up on the bottom when I walk around and, and you have to charge them. <laughs> they're gold. But um, it's, uh, and I always lose the charge. <laughs> That's true. That That is true. <laughs> you've seen them before. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you come here, he there's a chance he's wearing them. I'm wearing my gold um, shoes. You can't see my They're never charged. Off. They're never charged. Well, I don't want to have them on. Like, sometimes they turn on by accident when I'm walking around like the because the, the switch is on the inside of the shoe. I wish they like charged by your motion. That'd be so much better. That'd be amazing. But these are these are, these are a gift from Jack Germany. So I wish not... they were like, you remember the Reebok pumps yeah. that you pumped? Of course I do. Tongue. You remember you the, charge those and they just pump themselves. Do you remember the Skipper doll that you would turn her arm around, her boobs would get bigger? It was Skipper puberty. It was a Barbie. You could blow her breast up if you kept turning it. It's like, wow, it's like aliens but boobs. Totally appropriate. Um, just saying, that's it was a great toy. Canceled. Yeah, okay. The kids, Fair you don't give a boy a Barbie doll. That's what happens. Like, wow, watch them explode. Pow. Um, there you go. Let's talk about the Floyd Rose. Yeah, it totally that, took over. That should All be guitars have Every guitar. That's the most logical thing to hold the tuning. You cannot go out of tune with the Floyd Rose, pretty much. Once Until it's over. one of the old strings pops. There's the rub. Dang. Oh, and about that, it's going to take you 18 hours to put <laughs> Hold new on. strings on. Let me get my, yeah. And people are like, that's not true. I've been doing it for years. I can do it really fast, Mike. Because you've been doing it for years. Yeah. It's, um, Floyd Rose is a difficult operation with the springs behind, with the little, little thing you got to take off your Allen wrench, your little fine tuners. I remember getting it all tuned in. It's like slightly off, and I had my fine tuners maxed out. I'm like, shaw. I feel like, you know, your good old Tele, your Strats, like your 70s GM Chevrolet pickup truck. You open yes. the hood. You're like, oh, I can work on this thing. This all makes sense to me. It's all there. I can climb inside the hood and sit there and work on it. I Bam. And then the Floyd Rose is like these new cars with computer chips and sensors and blah, blah, blah. And you have to plug the little diagnostic thing into, and you have no idea what it means because it's a code, and there's a book, and you don't, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> It, it, yeah, it just it didn't take over like it, it could have or should have. It's yeah. like the robot tuners. The robo tuner. Oh, God. That was going to change the world until you realize your battery's dead there, and you didn't have the little plug thing for it, and you can't actually tune it yourself. Got to have like a brass nut because it's sawing through the ball or the synthetic ball. I mean, lots of issues. <laughs> There's lots of issues. The sound it made just reminded me of like... Oh, God, it was horrible. It was, um, sort of like this, a um, pit just, crew in NASCAR. No, it reminded me of this, this, this movie called Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland. It's like a movie from the early 2000s, late 90s where like okay. this like alien thing infects like a ship and like it starts to like turn people into like machine slaves or something and kill everybody. It's like a slasher horror. It's terrible. But um, I like those movies. Um, like Puppet Masters. Um, I mean... That's a good movie. Book. Movie. Okay. Anyway. Um, but no, that sound. It's, it's, it just creeps me out, though. It was, it was, it was, I just didn't... I never liked it. It has that horror sort of... It just didn't... It didn't work. And then you made a joke about, you know, valves when we started this thing off. The fact that, you know, we still use those things. And there's, there's modeling apps that come out every year that are phenomenal. That we're there. It's the same. But we still like tube amps. Because we... People were saying that to me about the Johnson J station back in the early 2000s. Man, it's there. It's like 99% same as a tube amp. Well, I have gentlemen like that will reach out to us and like, hey, I want to sell my amp or trade. I'm like, cool, what do you have? And they'll be like, I have this modeling amp from, you know, 1999. And I'm like, 
If he doesn't say, I've been on it, I'm not interested because <laughs> those are pretty cool. And yeah, but they're not modeling. They're their own little analog circuitry type yeah. based things. But yeah, modeling, it's just... Unless it's a cyber twin. Everybody knows the cyber twin was the pinnacle. Those were awesome. Of, of technological marvels for guitar amps. If you have a cyber twin, it's awesome. Or the Line 6 Spider was really good, and it's still really good today. Like If you use it for certain sounds, it's hard to beat that even with an array of pedals. It has like a great sort of chuggy Avenged Sevenfold sound. The insanity setting. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, all, you red. know. It's like, all red. Awesome. There's a sound there, that... There was a place for though. I mean, like, cause like if you were a kid, man, and you, you wanted to get a little practice amp and have it sound just amazing and be able to do all these high gain things. I mean, yeah. The amazing. early 2000s? That's Bam. the amp you get. You got a Bogner spider valve. That's when nice. you're really wealthy. <laughs> and you can really go like hard and you hybrid yeah. the two. And I don't know. So it, Bogner. So, yeah, so it's just funny. Like the, the, the things that become or the things that try and the things that don't, we still laugh that we're using. When I sell a guitar, so we're still using 1954 technology. Like, you know, the, the, old, the three bolt back neck plate with the micro tilt. <laughs> or like the, chi- the ones, the Same fenders that have like little chips they would put in there yeah. too. Yeah. Those are like 2000s, yeah. I think. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, That's there's it. lots of things. There. I mean, so it's but the test of time. It's harder now for a piece of technology to last because we, we do, we change so much and we want the newest and greatest thing. Unless, of course, we want the oldest and coolest thing. We want the oldest and coolest thing. And like, mixed with the, the weirdest thing. I mean, look at the 90s tube screamers. I mean, those things are still... It's weird how some things become... They're the in the lexicon now. They're like they're part of the 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 thing, Mount, the Mount Olympus of guitar. Gear. I feel like the Tiny Terror from Orange will become a thing too. Like that amp is surprisingly good for what it is, and like the little lunch boxes from like you know yeah. 2010 or whatever. Just like when they first launched, like those like those will be a, those will be a deal. Like, I, I think maybe one day. I could see that, but they made yeah. a lot of them, so maybe not. I could be wrong. That's it. So I got. That's all I got. That's all you got. Um, we will see. Let us know what do you guys think. What are technological things that are out now that are either going to go away or you think they're going to stand the test of time? It'd be interesting to hear about that in the comments. Uh, I think that's about it, right? Yeah, I mean, that's it. check out the other stuff we're doing. We've got the Great American Car Builder coming up, the podcast, the giveaway for a Silver Sky. you got to check out that video. Go watch the video. Follow us, subscribe, all that stuff. Only way to win. I've been doing my over-the-top exercises. I'm gonna cry. That's that. that's an important part. I just drive my big rig. Yeah, that's what I do. When I'm I turn the hat around. You know, <laughs> Derek, Derek does yes. that when cute people walk in the shop. He turns his baseball cap <gasps> around. He's like, hey, <gasps> yeah, it's um, disturbing. It's, it's weird. Um, speaking of things that are outdated, there you go. So hit like and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss things <laughs> like this. Derek. In the future. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> that was awesome. Good insult. Good job.